off, are you? <laughs> There's going to be no banter. Oh, I was promised banter. <laughs> Everyone else got banter. Why did I get banter? I'll be honest, you've not shown us over the last year that you're very good at interviews or <laughs> any time you need to improvise. Look, all right. I'm a big, avid fan of the Guilty Feminist podcast. <laughs> But I'm a feminist, but I have plunged a large percentage of the women in this country into penury and 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 frankly degradation through austerity. Guilty pleasures. Guilty pleasures. Is that, is that, did I get it right? Did I get it right? I, I, no, I'm delighted to have been asked to step into Deborah's shoes. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't doing much today, to be honest. I haven't been doing much of, of, of anything, really. I mean, we're, to, we're in a bit of a Schrodinger's Brexit at the moment, so I'm just sort of filling in time till the end. But um, the reason I wanted to do this show is because I'm thinking about what I'll do next, you know, when it's all over, by which I mean the United Kingdom. And, <laughs> as a Prime Minister, don't you? Not in what I do. And the obvious thing is obviously the speaker circuit, which I will do, you know, sort of, you know, uh, after dinner speaking at sort of investment banks, £30,000 a pop to explain that Boris Johnson is a cunt. <laughs> they love it, they love it, they love it, and they love the stories. But um, I also thought, I also thought, I mean, I'm a big admirer of both of you, <laughs> and you, and... Uh, <laughs> But I can do jokes. That was fun. That was the joke of my prime ministership, and I hope you enjoyed it. There won't be another. Now, um, I thought. I thought. I thought after, 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 you know, I mean, inevitably, I'm shuffled off this mortal politics. I, I thought. I thought. You know what I fancy doing? I fancy doing. Uh, Roxy Hart um, in Chicago. And so tonight, if I am brought back for my, you know, encore, if you want more of me, um, I thought I would show my Roxy Hart because I, I feel, you know, there could be a talent scout in the audience or something. I mean, I don't expect to go directly into the West End, obviously. Um, I, but there's a terrible, terrible amateur dramatic society in my constituency, and I thought, well, we'll all be starting from shit after Brexit, so let's go there. <laughs> um, so, uh, so that's what I would be, and you haven't asked what I'd be doing. Um, Teresa. <laughs> yes, Jade. <laughs> Teresa. Yes, Jade. Don't yes, worry Jade. about that name, you have no idea. I know so many Teresas that are not Prime Minister. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, what song will you be singing for us? Uh, I will be singing for you and Europe, <laughs> mine her. Well, I think we all want to see that. So, ladies and gentlemen, can I just say, Jade, when I left this, it was strong and stable. <laughs>
slowly up and down, but side to side, my head. I couldn't double cross it if I tried, my head. But I do what I can, inch by inch, wall by wall.